guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be my 16th birthday. Get ready with me. Yes, I am 16 years old. My birthday was on February 13th. And I just wanted to show you guys like a quick get ready with me like that I did. I didn't have a big party. I just went out with my friends and we went to laser tag and it was really, really fun. So let's get into the video. So since this is a get ready with me, it's just going to be, you know, like I'm not going to be showing you guys all the products, but this is the Garnier Skin Active Moisturizer. I've been really liking it. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be answering a few questions that just pop into my mind just to let you guys know what's going on with my life right now. So yes, I turned 16. Um, how do I feel? I feel the same. I mean, it's only been like a few days, so... I don't feel like a great drastic change or anything, but I'm hoping to grow a little more. Um, I'm working out, if you guys didn't know. If you guys didn't know, you guys should add me on Snapchat because I always post videos on Snapchat of what I'm doing, and especially when I'm at the gym. I'm always like back at it to get them gains because I have been working out and I've been taking my mom with me um, and my sister too because we have to work out it's it just has to be I don't work out at all except I do have PE and we don't really do much because we're in driver's ed right now so like and I just got my eyebrows done I don't know if you guys can tell but like I don't need much of filling in because they're already filled in like so if you guys didn't know I had a bunch of like horror disasters with my eyebrows I got them done by different various different types of people and they just messed them up, just slowly it was going. And so um, it came down to when I was crying and I was like, mom, I should listen to you. You do my eyebrows. I can't let anyone else do them. And now um, I have my mom do them. Well, that's a lot. My mom do them or one of her worker, I mean, one of her um, employees do it. Um, one of the hairstylists at the salon them either but um, it's just my mom thanks mom <laughs> um um fill in those eyebrows um i'm not doing a lot i think i did a little bit too much maybe i can just smoothie them out uh, na, na, na. yeah i think i'm gonna stop filling in my eyebrows this week because like i did my eyebrows and they're like really dark and bold so um my favorite product to set my eyebrows is the e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel. It looks like really bad right now, but um, it's amazing. I tried all types of brow gel. I tried the Urban Decay. I tried the Great Lash Clear Brow Mascara, the NYX. Well, I tried various, and this is the best one. And it's a dollar, so it's great. If you guys didn't know what pencil I was using, I was using like this Leon Paris eyebrow pencil. Oop. My sister got it at Rite Aid. She said it was like for a dollar, so she grabbed it, and she didn't like it, so I started using it. If you guys did not know, professional, I stopped using the Anastasia Brow Wiz because actually it was it was taking too much out of my wallet. So if you guys didn't know, Anastasia Brow Wiz cost twenty dollars, and I would use that pencil every single day. When I mean every single day, I mean every single day, and. Um, it was coming down to the point where my mom was like, why do you need this much money? I was like, I'm sorry. I need this brow pencil in my life. Then I discovered the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And then I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. And then I started hating it. So I was like, oh, I hate it. And I try, I have a bunch of eyebrow products. Do you guys believe me? I, I can show you. The Anastasia, well, my primary setting. The Anastasia Dip Brow. We got the Anastasia brow duo and then I also had that I still have the rest of the NYX, ugh, NYX micro brow pencil I also used various different shades where did it go where did it go? I used this shade for eyebrow I went crazy and I also used um whoop, I also used different but this is what I've been loving the Anastasia Brow Duo in Dark Brown, the Powder Duo. This is really good. And I was also using this brown and black. So I, was, I, w I went through like a whole phase. And 
I finally found the right combo, which is these two at the moment. Um, I think I'm going to go back to the Anastasia Brow Wiz at its given time when it's like, I don't have any more bread. I'm bread. <laughs> I don't have any more pencil or brow powder. Um, I like pound cake. I'm eating it right now. So, I've been loving this. Oops. This is the... This is the Anastasia <laughs> Contour Cream Kit. You can get it at your local Sephora. It's amazing. I'm not even kidding. This takes like five minutes out of my day, and and it takes like it takes a huge amount of time that would take. So instead of this 30 minutes, comes five minutes quick. This is for contouring and cream under the eye. So what I use is just a brown, a brown, a brush. I'm gonna draw a line. You see, I know I'm gonna look crazy in the beginning. Once my mom walked in and I was like all cream hat, she's like, "What are you doing?" She doesn't know the steps, so I'll teach her one day. Um, um. So I put that right in my cheekbones. It might be in bones, in cheekbones, and it might be. <laughs> I can't talk today. It might be a little uneven, but you know, it's okay because you're gonna blend, and blending is key. And you put it on your nose too, right here, to make it small. All right, and then you go in with a little brush, and I use this this shade right here, this yellow shade. Um, I use that because I think that's the one that looks best, to be honest. And you put that all under your eyes to just you know make that break. Um, and this is to brighten under your eyes, and then sometimes I like to go in if I'm feeling a little special. <laughs> foundation. So I like the Makeup Forever foundation. I used to use the liquid shade, and then I was like, I want to try the stick. This is amazing. This is this like blends faster, and I know how much I want to put on, like just a little bit, so it doesn't look so big. And with the liquid one, I had to like drop by drop, so I didn't go over. But like this is perfect. Oh my god. Oh. I, at first, I was having my doubts because the lady at Sephora was like, it's a little cakey. She's like, but if you use it correctly, then you will be fine. And I was like, I don't know. But I was like, I want it. My mom was like, I don't know. Maybe you should just stick to the old one. I was like, no, I want to try it. So I did. And I love it. Best thing, best invention, best thing ever. All right, now you got to blend the contour. So if you have a large forehead like me, you want to go all the way to the top and blend that as well. All right, now, once you're at this given step, I like to go in with a different concealer under my eyes because since this one's really white, yellow and light and bright, I'm going in with the Naked Skin by Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And this is a little bit more of my skin tone, so I put that like over here. As you guys can see, it's way darker than the under eye because it's like super white and it's not my shade. And then I blend this together. So I use the Urban Decay one to coverage and then the white one is for brightening to cover the dark circles. I've been sleeping really late these past weeks. I've been super stressed with homework and it's okay, you know, but some teachers just don't want to work with me. But some, some do, so I'm very grateful for that. But I mean, that's high school, you know, you're going to go through teachers who don't like you, teachers who love you. And I had a lot of events this, this past week. Add me on Snapchat if you didn't know. I made district chorus for my district. And um, what else? I was sick. It was terrible. It was so bad. And then on Sunday, what was it that I had to do? I don't even know. Okay. And then I go in with like that tiny little tip under the contour. Or kind of like a little bit to brighten up. Ooh. All right, now we're gonna set it. So usually if you have time, I like to, you should bake. This is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. 
but this takes a lot of time so I'm gonna just set it with this stay matte powder but this is good I like this powder this is a good drugstore powder good drugstore powder under the eyes on the lid under the other eye on the lid if you guys don't drink water you should drink water because it's very good for you and red I ordered this off eBay. I'm pretty sure it's legit because it's really good. This is the Meat Matrimony. Get it? Matt Trimony because he's a groom. That's it, right? Groom? Yeah. So this is a matte eyeshadow palette from The Balm and all of these eyeshadows are beautiful and I was like, I usually hate eyeshadows if you don't know, didn't know that. I don't wear eyeshadow, but I was like, you know what Samantha, let's just see what we can do. So I ordered it, came in the mail, I was like, ooh, and I'm going to be using the matte Kumar shade, which is this kind of like burnt orange red, very, very pigmented. And I really like this. I think that this is the best eyeshadow palette I've ever bought. Mm -hmm. And I'm just putting that in crease. And then again on the other side. Oh, if you guys also didn't know, since I said my birthday was February 13th, that's the day before Valentine's Day. So I'm a Valentine's Day baby. What else is going on in my life? I have good grades, which is um, necessary for you to succeed in life. Don't quit school. Don't do drugs. Um, I go to a school but in a very positive environment, so I'm grateful about that. All right, now I'm going in with the matte Lynn shade. If you guys didn't know, these kind of names are kind of a little like racist because all of these names on the bottom go in with the skin color of the lip color. I don't know, you research, I think it's a little racist because the um, kind of like my kind of color tan is Matt Lopez, Spanish name, right? And then like the darker, darker shade is Matt Ahmed, which is like, you know, like um, an African-American kind of common name. And then for this white, white shade is like Matt Lin, like a Chinese person. I don't know, I, I've been looking. Um, Alright, um, that's it. Maybe with a little, these, these are all matte shades, so they're not like, um, they're not sparkly. Oh, this past weekend I went to go sing at the Kennedy Center with my choir and I had a solo. And I'm very happy, because like, I've been singing with my choir for around seven or eight years and they gave me a solo like not the first time i've ever had a solo in the choir first time i've ever had a solo at the kennedy center and that was big i was very happy and a lot of my friends congratulated me i put a lot of those videos on snapchat and now the mascara these two are amazing okay so this is the maybelline the falsies push-up angel Ooh. That's the first thing I do. Then, I go in with the CoverGirl Fibers Mascara. Oh my god. Has that ever happened to you? It's never happened to me till now. Then I'm going in with the CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers. And this kind of like gives you um fibers. On your lashes kind of makes me cry a little at first but later on it's fine and then the great lash mascara for your bottom lashes because, <laughs> you cry. um because it's not good for the top lashes but it's good for the bottom it's 
Mm, if you guys didn't know, I wear contacts. So, um, I wear contacts every day because I really have bad eyesight. My mom says it's because when I was little, I played the DS, like, a lot in my, my, my bed. I would be like, mm. if you guys, um, people my age know Nintendo DS, comment down below. Because that was a big thing at the time. And we had gotten a Wii and a Nintendo DS something. I got a new phone case. Um, now for lip product. I have really been liking. All right, so I got I have a bunch of lime crime stuff, and some of them are good, some of them are not. Cashmere is a nice color. It's a nice color. I just don't like that they're too dry. So I like lip gloss, and I've been using the NYX Butter Gloss Butter Me Up with that divine gloss that feels like it melts on lips. And this is the shade Strawberry Parfait. And it's very nice and pink. I know because it's all over. And since it's like, you know, the day before Valentine's Day, why not look pinky? As you guys can tell by my shirt. I'm going to set a little bit of powder on my face. Set on down your neck. And that is the finished look. So if you guys like this look, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below so we can grow the Sam fam. Um, yeah, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, all of that. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Bye. Happy birthday to me. I am now out 16. Happy birthday to me. And now the gospel version because I'm in a gospel choir. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya, me!